Hello, I'm Jerry with Zero Waste Silicon Valley, a local nonprofit organization. We are happy to partner with the Eastside Union High School District to inform you about a new waste sorting system that's being implemented at your school. Did you know that the average American produces about six pounds of trash per day? This waste fills our landfills at an alarming rate. Changing our waste sorting practices in Eastside San Jose is long overdue and vital in creating a sustainable school district. Don't let trash end up in the landfill when our resources can have a second life. The Eastside Union High School District is implementing sorting stations that will make waste sorting easy and convenient for all students. Here's what you need to know to get started. At school, you'll see these bins placed in various spots on campus. Encourage your peers to sort their items and guide them in how to do it properly. Proper material sorting reduces waste. There are four main categories to sort. Liquids, yellow. Recycling, blue. Food waste, green. Landfill, gray. To prepare beverage containers for recycling, they must be emptied first. It's important to avoid contaminating the recycling. These liquid bins provide an easy way to dispose of liquids so that beverage containers can be recycled cleanly and correctly. Did you know 26% of all waste in the landfill is paper, a recyclable material, and that there's enough plastic on the ocean surface to go to the moon and back twice? You can help increase the recycling rate so that less paper and plastic ends up in the landfill. Glass, metal, paper products, and plastic bottles and containers can go into the blue recycling bin. Items like food soiled paper, pizza boxes, and styrofoam cannot go in this bin. Food waste includes organic items that will biodegrade like fruit, vegetables, grains, meat, and dairy products, and more. About 40% of the food in the United States goes to waste. Collecting food scraps instead of throwing them in the landfill gives them a second chance at providing nutrients to plants and animals. This is a great way to help reduce food waste. Anything that cannot be recycled goes into the gray landfill bin. This includes items such as non-recyclable glass, non-recyclable paper, non-recyclable plastics, and other non-recyclable or non-compostable items. By making the most out of what you have, using reusable items instead of single-use disposables when possible, and utilizing the recycling and food waste bins, you can significantly reduce how much you put in the landfill bin. This not only helps keep your school clean, but benefits the environment. We can reduce 45% of emissions by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Your participation is vital in keeping our community clean.